Another one together. Another one together. Hey, how's it going? Let's go over how to draw Godzilla versus Skyla. Uh, it's the very, very beginning of the movie Godzilla x Kong New Empire. You remember that when he, you know, beats that kaiju? That's kind of what we're going to do right now. So let's do it. So first thing we're going to do is probably draw Skyla first because he's going to be on the front over here. Skyla is like crab-like uh, kaiju. So we're going to do them fighting over here. So let's see right here. I'm going to draw the kind of the back of Skyla's head. So follow along with me if you can. Um... Basically, it's this, it's got this like triangular head thing going on from the back, right? Because we're, we're drawing the back of a bug's head. So, you know, a lot, obviously we're thinking in simple shapes, which is like a big thing when you're drawing anything. So just kind of keep that in mind. Why is this marker so dry? Uh, I guess a marker will do. If it gets really bad, I'll have to pause it and get a new marker, but it's fine. Curve over here along the body and curl over here along the body as well the body is like this kind of like this shell arachnid thing going on so i'm gonna pull down over here it's gonna go outward right here like and i'm gonna give it a little bit of texture as it goes down but it's gonna get bigger as it goes downward and remember he's facing up right now just to kind of give you an idea of what's happening man that marker is not going well let me see there we go, this marker is better. Pulling down, again, you have this big arachnid thorax thing going on, right, his main body. I would say imagine like a spider mixed with a crab. That's kind of what Skyla is. Let's give it a little bit of texture right here because we want it to come off like it's something. So I'm gonna give it this little, what is up with my markers? One minute, hold on. Yeah, I don't know. All right, I'm back. What's up with these markers? Okay, here we go. Woo, all right, perfect. So, I'm gonna go over here, and what this is gonna do right here is adding a little bit of, it's not just an amorphous blob. I'm adding like, oh, there's a texture to this. There's like little layers. It's like a wheel turned sideways, right? And But you don't have to think that hard about this. So, let's go over here now, and I'm gonna draw some of the, let's draw the front of the face. Curve up. We're going to pull up over here now. And his, he's going to have his tentacles all up in Godzilla's face. So that's one tentacle. Curve over here, another one. Before we draw any more, hmm, I would say let's draw some bottom legs over here coming out. Curve up right there. And curve up. Those are kind of going to go off the screen. And these are going to be like getting, they're a little bit bigger as they reach the body. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind. Curve over there, down. Over here, down, right there. That's the, the turn. Over here, down. So these get a little bit bigger as they reach the body and it's gonna vignette off the page, so. It's not really going to matter, at least these bottom ones at the end. Just going to draw them in there pretty quickly. All right, <clears throat> let's start drawing Godzilla. So Godzilla, lying down here for the front of his snout, pulling up over here, up over here, kind of like the brow. So you're looking down, his, he's going to be looking downward, outward, outward over here. Okay? Gonna keep that in mind. Here's the top of Godzilla's head. Let's go over here to the side of Godzilla's head. Over here, side of Godzilla's head. Like the neck, really, as it goes down. Okie doke, let's draw. So this is his snout. So we're gonna go over here a little bit deeper and draw the eyes. Right there, the eyes are gonna be somewhere around there. Curl over here, up. So that's the top of his snout. Let's just say his nostrils are right here. Pulling up over here, pulling up over here, pulling up over here, here, pulling up over here, his mouth, pulling up over here, here, 
pulling up over here, his mouth, pulling up over here, over here, his mouth, over here, his mouth, over here, his mouth. 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 Here, his mouth. I would say the most intricate area of the drawing would probably be right in this area, like right where his face is going to be. And we're going to draw the teeth coming down really quick. So the main thing you want to remember is you want the uh, impression of the drawing, meaning you want the viewer to know what they're looking at. Um, but it doesn't. Nothing has to be like exact. I don't know about nothing has to be exact, but it doesn't have to really be super. Uh, exact exact right like you get the impression of it like we know that's Godzilla's mouth we're gonna go over here now for the jaw area pulling up pulling up and you know maybe his neck we're gonna have a little bit of the stuff along this side over here right we're trying to find you know what's going on in his face he's got a little bit of a brow thing going on over here And then it starts to turn into ridges as it goes up his neck. We're going to loosely throw those in. So that's the hardest part of it, in my opinion. The other part is we're going to draw his hands grabbing onto his front, uh, basically his front, front legs. So over here, we're going to draw a hand, like Godzilla's thumb, line over here, line over here, line over here. Okay, that's one. That's basically his thumb. And now we're going to draw the hand after the fact over here. The claw, sorry, the, uh, I don't know what you call it. Over here, one. He's going to go up over here, because literally just imagine a giant tube straw. Should be really easy. And pulling out over here, down. Here's his crab claw over here. curve over here so we got the rest of his crab claw goes really long and pulling in over here so we got like one crab claw going around the corner but the cool part about that is that that's the only interaction right there so now we're free to draw the rest of his tendrils over here so see that wiggly thing we had right there line over here we got his other tendril Right? Like linguini going on, right? It's gonna be pretty simple. Just draw a bunch of tendrils wherever you want. And that's the what I meant by late. You have to be that's what I meant by you know, a lot of this stuff is like if I was to redraw this, maybe I'm in the mood to draw the 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 tendrils in a different way, right? In a different position. But right now, since we're drawing it like this, again, we're just trying to get the general you know, the general uh, vibe of the drawing, right? Like what is going on in it. You got this monster right here this crab monster and you know he is going after godzilla right here he's going after godzilla and he's got tendrils coming out of his face over here we can barely see his face you can always add like little textures onto this guy but again it's not fully necessary or anything like that um you can maybe draw a little bit bigger of an arm if you want there but let's go to you know the other side as well so he's got his other hand over here thumb and then you have the opposing fingers and these can just be like little beans like that think of like little bean shapes it's not very hard forgive me by the way this is a really hard lesson to teach <laughs> out loud so give me a like if you can or if you're a huge godzilla fan give me a like uh or share the video that helps a lot as well because uh i would say like talking out loud as i'm doing this is really difficult but it's fun so i mean i like it hopefully you do too okay we're gonna go pull up over here see like i said we're gonna go on 
At this point, we're kind of home free. We have the ability to kind of just make our own, you know, like move the ten, move the um, claws, whatever you call it, the arms anywhere we want at that point. Down over here, let's find Godzilla's shoulder around the back. Line over here. Down over here, same thing. Let's find his shoulder on this side. So you want to do that after the fact. Find that shoulder right there. And then you can go down over here. His body gets bigger as it goes down. Huge legs. Huge legs. And then um, same thing over here. Down over here. And huge legs over there. We're thinking of all the ways that this is crossing that area. But we don't have to think it's hard because we already put this guy in here. At this point, like right now, it is all texture. So at this point, we're like, okay, let, what are little details we can do? Let's draw little dots over here and lines on the arachnid's arms, right? Because they're pretty hard. They're like, it's an exoskeleton, right? He's taking uh, like parts from like a lobster. I think arachnids, aren't lobsters arachnids? I forget. I know lobsters are related to spiders, right? They're, they're kind of like basically big sea bugs or something like that. Um, but we can just throw a little lines as we want right and make sure those lines are thinner they're thinner than everything else because if they're thinner then they go down as detail right same thing with godzilla himself right we're going over on the here maybe around the side right we're just going over here we're, we're, we're kind of just toying with the details at this point and a lot of that is where your style comes out it is a decision making thing at that point oh like you know, what are the folds over here in his arm, right? That's all the stuff after the fact. And that's what's kind of cool about this entire process is you have your base right here, and I personally have more fun with the details. I mean, I guess, you know, the whole thing is fun, but I would say, like, having fun with the general details. Again, like the bumps on him, and you can kind of uh, show this little, like, curvature right here, which will show the, you know, the texture of Godzilla. Don't forget to check out the Godzilla free drawing worksheets. I'm going to put them in the description, so go take a look at those. All right, there you go. Hopefully you had a good time. Uh, stay here. We'll, let's do another one together. Hopefully you had a good time. Uh, stay here. We'll, let's do another one together. Hopefully you had a good time. Uh, stay here. We'll, let's do another one together. Hopefully you had a good time.